624 as you're starting your day. We're in the middle of National Stress Awareness Month, a time dedicated to bringing attention to its negative impact. As Kent's 5 Jeremy Baker shows us, managing stress is essential to every part of our health. April is Stress Awareness Month, a month to practice ways to reduce stress or even recognize it within ourselves because sometimes we become so used to being stressed 24-7, it becomes a way of life. It's not keeping stress down necessarily. It's keeping our capacity higher and maybe our demands lower so that that stress threshold doesn't get as intense. There are emotional symptoms of stress like feeling agitated, frustrated, moody, and overwhelmed. Physical symptoms of stress like headaches, upset stomach, chest pain, insomnia, and frequent illness, and behavior impacts like changes in appetite, alcohol use, drugs, or cigarettes and caffeine. If you wake up and your, your daily ritual is to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, and then you know ease into your day, going outside right after that is a really good idea. It like resets the circadian rhythm. A 2018 study by YouGov looked at over 4,600 people and found almost three quarters felt so stressed they were overwhelmed or unable to cope. 30% of older people reported never feeling overwhelmed compared to 7% of young adults. Randall says only stress about things you have control over. You can control what you consume. You can control what you're watching. Focus on things that you can control, not the outer world of what you can't control. You can control who you're com communicating with, who your community of friends are. Austin Cup says use humor. Any moment we're giving ourselves to laugh or find a little humor in something is a moment that we aren't stressing out. Randall also says if you get stressed, step away from your desk and find a quiet place to relax. Jeremy Baker, Ken's Fox.